okay, so using uh, uh, calculus, he was able to uh, derive the Kepler's laws from uh, his laws of motion and the law of gravity. In particular, he showed that when attracting by a force of gravity, and they are orbiting each other, or the smaller mass object is revolving around the bigger mass object at distance d, uh, that if you take uh, the distance between them in qubit, and divide with the period squared that you get a value uh, which is uh, essentially uh, proportional to the total mass of the two objects. Okay? And this is what we call third Kepler's law as formulated by Newton. And it is used in astronomy all the time to determine the masses of uh, um, objects revolving around each other. You can, for instance, in the case of the Earth, say this is Earth and this is our moon, you can determine the distance between the moon and the Earth you can measure the moon's orbital period, and then you can find out the total mass of the Earth and the moon. And because the moon is much, much smaller than the Earth, you practically get the mass of the Earth. You can do the same thing in the case of a planet revolving around the sun, okay? Again, by measuring the distance of the planet from the sun, its orbital period, you can determine the total mass of the sun and the planet. But again, all the planets, including the largest one, Jupiter, is much, much smaller uh, than the sun. So basically, this here amounts to the mass of the sun, okay? So that way, you can find out how massive is the sun.